because I know that I want to apologize if I appear to take the issue of discretion from you. Uh, it was intended to keep my promise to you that you will be free. We now get to know that every, every side has a prefect. That's why the prefect is professing. <laughs> my Lord, uh, just want to also add my voice uh, to the submissions that have been made by the respondents. And they should go on record with that. My name is Shara. I'm also the Solicitor General uh, for the Attorney General together with Professor Git Muigai and uh, Charles Mutinda and uh, the rest of the, the team. This my Lord, uh, to say one or two things so that uh, we wrap up submissions from our end. My Lord, uh, it is not in contestation that under Article 145.7 of the Constitution, a final decision of impeachment was made. It is not in doubt, and that has not been controverted by either side. Well, we have. That is what we have A final order to this, my Lord, was made. Secondly, my Lord, it is also not in contestation that a vacancy has arisen or arose in the office of the Deputy President. It's also, my Lord, not in contestation or in doubt that uh, Article 149 of uh, the Constitution was in fault in terms of the President nominating Professor Akram Kitura Kindiki as a nominee to that position under that Parliament voted on the same. And I would agree with my learned colleague who has just left the floor, Mahat, that the framers of this constitution never intended that the IEPC plays a role when it comes to the issue of impeachment. And my Lord, if they so intended, nothing could have stopped them from expressly stating that position. <coughs> and therefore, my Lord, I am submitting that the interim orders that were granted and are in place cannot cure that position. And therefore, my Lord, uh, relying on the various authorities that have been cited, and more particularly, my Lord, the Munya case, which is a classic case in terms of uh, what will be required in the grant of uh, conservatory orders, it is my humble submission, my Lord, that that has not been met. And we also submit, my Lord, that when you look at the greater public interest, my Lord, we want to persuade you with the very many other arguments that have been uh, given by my learned colleagues that you will find favor that the discharge, the vacating, or the burning the that have been placed would find greater good than holding uh, those uh, orders in place. And therefore, my Lord, to conclude, 
I will urge my lady and my lord to find that uh, we cannot continue holding the country at ransom. We need to make a decision <coughs> that some of the roles and the responsibilities that are played by the president, which are currently at a standstill, would it be extremely critical that the moment these orders are vacated, the rest of the processes should be allowed to, uh, to be completed. I therefore humbly submit that you discharge the orders that are in place and uh, allow uh, the entire process to be completed. I submit my lord. Thank you. My lord, I want to confirm on behalf of the respondents that we rest there, but with your kind indulgence, if there is to be a reply, I think again we need to remind ourselves that it ought to be on points of law. If the case is rehashed afresh, we would still be here tomorrow and it would contrary to procedure. My Lord, I would request a direction on whether persons who are not parties to the application, because there are only two applicants, have a right of reply, because my understanding is that the only persons with the right of reply are the parties who filed the application, not the, the entire court hearing of this side. Thank you, Dr. Why are we being created? <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, we still have to be in just a parties, or we will not have that. No, 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 how much did you give? You have given us 30 minutes. I am addressing the court, please. Yes. <laughs> Reply to the court. You have given us 30 minutes. That's okay. Do we go for 10 minutes? No, no, no. There is a lot of us in campus. In fact, they have given us the impression that they will read better than now. They are obviously done four hours and something. Yeah. Oh, we the worst things that we have to do within five minutes. Let's see. 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 let us see so we shall we just are here to do the business and we go. Okay, this is the way forward. We will give the respondents the time in 30 minutes. No the respondents, but they have the time. 30 minutes, let's go. I don't care. They can please report. Because I'm from the position on the same issue. Because I've been standing and I, I need to catch your eye. Uh, still on the issue of uh, the, the, the right of reply. My lords, you might remember that I am, uh, out of all, I am one of the presented petitioners of petition 11. And uh, for the My lord, you might remember that uh, for the last uh, two weeks when this matter has been uh, being handled, I have been insisting that we made an application for conservatory orders prior to even the applications we are discussing now, and it was in the best interest of all of us that when discussing the conservatory applications, we be treated as, uh, as respondents. My Lord, unfortunately, uh, when uh, the court gave directions, it consolidated all the petitions, but gave direct, did not give directions on how our applications would be heard. Now, out Mr. Of, Mr. Out of, Mr. Boswell, just a minute. Uh, we will restrict ourselves to the applications at hand. 